Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look at one of my favorite animated series and what happened after the cliffhanger after Season 2 with Glitch Text. During the pandemic in 2020, Glitch Text was a very nice surprise as an animated series on Netflix. Combining video gaming in real life scenarios was a new premise that really has legs on its own. Bring in the nostalgia from the retro gaming and to the modern era was really fun to see implemented into every single episode. My absolute favorite, and there is a lot to love in Season 1 and 2, was Castle Crawl from Episode 5, Season 1. Bringing Castlevania elements was so enduring from the past, but done so well and original, you had to watch it over and over to see its creativity really shine. That's basically how I felt with the series thus far. Glitch Text was produced by Nickelodeon Animation Studio and released on Netflix in 2020 with two seasons with a combined of 19 episodes. Created by Eric Robles and Dan Milano, the animation features Monica Ray, Richard Hurtado, and Scott Kramer. The series premise stars two main characters, Hector High Five and Miko Kabuda. They both have joined a secret group of people who worked at a video game store similar to the television series Chuck and have missions to fight against glitches from video games that invade real life society to avoid any panic. Using their skills as gamers, they fight against these glitches to help out. Normally just one episode at a time similar to The Simpsons with no real story but missions, Season 2 also introduced different teams and an actual story arc that left the end with a cliffhanger. That wasn't the glitch. We've got it. Ready? Aim. Hold. Being announced in 2016, the series was saved after workers being laid off due to how expensive the show and animation would cost overall. Trust me here, the animation is fantastic and in high production. Is another reason why I love the quality as well. Virtually saved by Netflix, the episodes were cut in half as season 1 and 2 as production caught up. With two season release, we saw no other seasons ever to be released since then. Many concerns about the brand moving to Paramount Plus on their digital service also arose as Nickelodeon is under that umbrella. Netflix originally planned the release of Season 3 to be in August of 2022, about four months ago of this writing. Netflix has yet to an officially announce the renewal, but with its popularity and immense content on Netflix, I always thought this would be a no-brainer. The worst feeling is a cancelled series that was really, really good. The worst part is we may never know where the story is headed. I truly do not believe that the viewership was that terrible not to renew. I'm hopeful that Netflix, Paramount, or anybody comes to their senses to renew the series as this truly was full of the best writing, animation, and creativity I have seen in a very long time. Way better than a He-Man animated sequel. Normally with Netflix, no communication means bad news and the chances that it's canceled are so much more intensified. Hoping for the best, as this animated series deserves a lot more. If you haven't watched it yet, it is a must for video gamers, and if not that, then just for its overall presentation and quality from the animation, writing, and characters, and just a really fun to watch animated series. That's it for this look at what happened to one of my favorite animated series, Glitch Text. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and great. Take us out of here, and I will see you all next upload. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh.